What's up everybody, welcome back to one of my other YouTube videos today. I know that normally I should have done the uh, battle that I promised you, all my pro series versus uh, my ace dragon, but something happened between the uh, wanting of doing this video and the receiving of something. So here goes. Um, as we know, with the last anime se animated series of Baby Burst, Quad Drive, or in Japanese, Dynamite Battles, coming to an end, that meant that the, the official Takahatomi creators of the that aspect of the game has decided to stop doing the animation and decide to just go back to manga. But don't worry about this, even though manga are taking place of the animation, it doesn't mean that we won't have any more of Beyblade Burst. Uh, as a product for toys or anything like that actually means that we're probably gonna have even more and somehow more evolution to our, all of our favorite base. Like for an example, we had with Quad Drive or Dynamite Battle the evolution of Valkyrie in two different modes, Salvage Valkyrie and, no, Savior Valkyrie, sorry, and of course Ultimate Valkyrie. And we had the Quad Drive system that came out with, of course, uh, we had Luenor that, uh, Longinus who has an evolution, Spryzen who has an evolution, or Spriggan if you prefer. We also have Fafnir who had an evolution to become more stronger than they were before. And of course it brought a lot of new bays as well, like for an example we had Belia that got his evolution from Dynamite Belia to Perfect Belia, then redo into, of course, um, Dangerous Belia. And we had a lot of different other stuff. But with the dynamite battle ending a new form is coming and that is burst ultimate now what exactly is burst ultimate we don't know yet so far only one bay was released for this series and is divine belia and who knows what is going to go happen next but we know that according to what we know about many other youtuber who made release uh, videos of dynamite uh, not dynamite but uh, Divine Belia, we know that more and maybe other part and gear will be created for Belia in this new form, as well as the part that we already know, like the V gear, S gear, L gear, and uh, F gear. And we're gonna have an extras as well, but when, never know. And from which bay, can't tell either. But according to many uh, rumors, per se, it should be. The next evolution in the quad drive system or dynamite system would be a dragon. So from triumph dragon to a dynamite dragon, maybe, who knows. Archilles as well has been kind of leak. And also there was another one, but I'm not sure exactly of the name yet. But apparently there's three new uh, gear that's going to come out during this season. Well, this uh, format of Beyblade to Beyblade Burst Ultimate. So, of course, since I said about Divine Belia, as you guys know, I have it. <laughs> I got myself Divine Belia, and of course, I got myself something else. A boom. The Random Booster 28, but not all of the base. I will explain later why, but first, let's go with my friend Belia here. So, here's the box of Belia, of course, as you know. I put all the stickers on already and all that, so I'm gonna show you the bay a few seconds later, but before, of course, the box. So, on the front here we have Beyblade Burst, BU, so Burst Ultimate, and we have Belia right here with Raphael right there as the image of its opponent, as you can see. If you recognize this uh, core, it's normal, because actually... Dangerous Belia has the same. It's just a different coloring, and personally, I prefer the new one better than this one, due to the fact that it's a bit brighter, per se. But I'm gonna explain everything to you guys in a few seconds. So, of course, as you know, right here, this is at the top of the box, side, other side, to explain to you the modes, the top that explain that it has the burst prevention system as well, like uh, Dangerous Belia has as well as metal on his blades. Yes, metal! We bring back a little bit of turbo here. 
So yeah, if we look at the back of the box, we have your obligatory shot, all the pieces and all that, the sticker where they go, the idea in the battlefield, the st general stats, the L gear, F gear, S gear, and V gear, as well as three new ones that are mystery but put in yellow, red, and blue. So according to what I look at, uh, see right now, it looks like the blue one would be either attached to the blades or attached to the the forge disc, like the S gear was able to. Like the red one looks like it's gonna be able to be attached to the blades as well, but. That's just a uh, figure of speech, I guess, or just my own knowledge of the bases. I don't know. But anyways, let's go through the pieces. Of course, here we have our bay disconstruct. So let's go. We have the DB core, aka the uh, Belia 2. We have the blades has divine blades. We have the number three armor the Nexus Forge Disc, so a redo of a Forge Disc that we all have seen many times before. And we have a brand new driver, aka the Adventure driver. Now, this driver is a bit different than Adventure, but it has the same kind of concept, per se, due to its shape in general, but has a new gimmick to it. So, we're gonna look a little bit more further into that in a few seconds. So, of course, here it is in the flesh, per se. Here on the blades, you can see the metal right here. I'm sorry if the lip, the image got a little bit blurry right now. Maybe if I light up this, it would be easier. Uh, maybe, or maybe that's, I don't know. So, yeah, here we go with the beautiful coloring. Black, gold, white, and some red, of course. On the side, that's what it looks like. And as you can see, you can see somehow the gimmick of the adventure right here. Now. Let's take it apart. Ow. I'm also going to take apart Dangerous just to see and just to show you the comparison with the core. So, here is Divine Belia core, made in all red. I must admit, I really enjoy that. Red and black are some of my favorite coloring for color schemes for base. And to be honest with you, I really enjoyed the redo of the model. And here's, as a comparison, Dangerous Belia, the first Belia that came out. And as you can see in the back, of course, they both possess the Burst Prevention System, aka that little tab here that came out when it uh, get hit too hard, so it prevents the burst finish. Now, here's something though. With Divine Belia, has been proven by uh, Beyblade Geeks official and many others as well that this part, depending on your bay and depending on your luck, can be a bit flimsy. Meaning that could activate without your consent or without even being hit that hard and even block to the point of breaking that part. Of course, if it always happened, you could always probably buy yourself another bay depending on how things go. Or you can just decide to keep moving on with it without any matters. M me personally, I'm gonna try to make sure it's safe for me to play with this bay because I don't want to buy another one. One is enough. So, yeah. Be careful with that aspect. Now, as for the Divine Blades, as you can see, it has that wave kind of shape to it that actually Dangerous also have when you can see those little empty spaces. The only huge difference is that rubber blades here, rubber-ish blades, uh, Divine doesn't have them. So for me, actually, before doing any battle or anything, I'm gonna put the F gear on that bad boy just to be sure to have an extra defense on this bay because I don't want to break anything. <laughs> so yeah, this is the Divine blades. The armor is armor number three, as I said. It doesn't come with stickers, but hey, not so bad. Armor three. So, that's the armor. Of course, we have the Nexus Forge Disc that we've seen before in Dangerous Belia, even in um, Cyclone Belia also has, has it. 
I think it's my third Nexus ring. Of course, it's different than the uh, forged that come with the Almighty driver because this is supposed to attach itself to the Almighty driver. But still, pretty much, pretty much simple forged disc that we already seen before. And here is the adventure, not adventure, adventure uh, driver performance tip. So as you can see, those little red uh, blade uh, tips here actually replace the uh, over round uh, circle that the venture has. And this has a strange gimmick to it because look at it. If I press a little bit, they enter inside of the driver. So according to many uh, info that I gathered, these uh, blades actually are able to grip the uh, arena to make sure to bounce around, but look what happened if you put the V-gear on. So if you put the V-gear on, they are automatically retract inside and just left with the little tip right here. I did some spin, test spin with uh, just the V-gear on, and to be honest with you, it brings out a new power to this driver than if it has only the those little blades. So, yeah, I'm gonna put on the gear now just to show you what it looks like with the gears. V gear, S gear, and free spin mode, so defense type. Oh, I think I'm on the right side. No, I'm on the right side. Sorry about that little intermission again. There we go, free spin. I'm gonna put the L gear on. Well, other side, other side, like this. Number three in. Those clicks are important. And there we go. So this is my divine Belia with the uh, F gear, S gear, and V gear. I did put the L gear on, but I don't like the design like this. I prefer it like and like so because actually right now the S gear, the L, the F gear, and the V gear with this uh, coloring and shape actually fits really great. Honestly, I like the scheme and the coloring of all all these pieces together. It's just amazing. So that was for Belia. Let's move on to my other bay about this uh, intervention again I just want to place everything back with dangerous as well so okay mm. secondary box the uh, random booster volume 27 this volume came with five bays uh, four remaster bays that are just different coloring and the ultimate Valkyrie in dark mode now Here's a little something something for you. The uh, Ultimate Valkyrie come with all of its original pieces from the blue version, but in black and red, gold, white coloring. So technically like this. And if you're lucky enough, you can pull a gold entire Valkyrie of Ultimate if you have the luck, because it can come in gold. I don't have the gold one, I have the dark one, because I wanted the dark one I handpick it this one so let's go on and see what we have here so we have here triumph Archelles we have infinity dragon uh, King Helios and uh, supreme super um, Hyperion is that correct I'm not sure anyways these are the bay of the uh, Ikaru and his brothers from uh, Surge series. We have, of course, Archelis that's supposed to go on the Infinity, but anyways. I'm probably gonna take it them one day, but I'm not sure yet. So, here in the back we have our obligatory shots, all of these. And here's the thing though if you get yourself one of these bays and it goes with random, some of the pieces has been uh, mixed. Let me, let me tell you why. 
with um, Infinity Dragon, you have one of the driver from uh, for either Ikaru or Hyuga. With um, this one, you have the Dragon driver, and with this one right here, you have Arcades driver instead of having its own driver that Arcades has. But yeah, here's Ultimate Valkyrie, the bay that I personally have. So, without further ado, boom. <laughs> so yeah, I got myself the black uh, Valkyrie and I'm gonna take it apart so I can tell you each and every single pieces and show them to you a little bit more. There we go. Okay, I even have I even took note because some of the pieces I was not sure of the name of it. Sorry about that. Here we go. So, Dark Blade Ultimate Valkyrie. So, as we know, we have the DB Core. This is Valkyrie or VL2, more in the term name. I must admit, I prefer the profile better than the face up like this. But, so here we have it, Valkyrie. We have the ultimate blade or the U blade. I must admit, this is amazing. And the, this white here, it's kind of rubber ish because, as we know, ultimate Valkyrie possess all of the schemes from all the previous Valkyries. With few exceptions, of course. But this fusion all of the previous Valkyrie together. The armor is armor number 9. That comes with one single sticker. That yellow sticker right here. So it goes well with the color scheme of the blades. And the uh, wings of Valkyrie right here. Or helmet wings or, or whatever. So yeah, this armor 9. The Forge disc is the uh, Legacy uh, disc. I think we already had that one before. Uh, I can't remember exactly which bay has it. Probably you guys can tell me in the comments. I don't know. So this is the Legacy uh, Forge disc, LG. We have the driver that is the Variable Dash driver, who is an evolution driver due to little, those little spike here. The uh, more that you use it, more these spice will be wear down and more speed will uh, be given to Valkyrie. Of course, it's a red pressure uh, loaded driver. So, let's put this bad boy back up to get the... Uh, just to be sure that what I'm doing is correct. Because I don't want to undo his design. Beautiful design, by the way. Let's admit. Big fan, big fan. I think I'm not right there. Yeah, I'm not right. That makes more sense. Okay, the forge disc. And each other. Oh, that <laughs> wonderful sound. So here we go, my Dark Blade Valkyrie. So I'm gonna do a few test spin with these bay later on with another video, or maybe I'm just gonna do my battle that I promised before and do afterwards the spin demonstration. But that's not it. We're not done, folks, because I also got myself a little extra something box is big. <laughs> I got the quad drive battle system. <laughs> Presented by Adbro, of course. So, <clears throat> this is the quad drive arena that presents the, f and, um, quad drive base, of course. We have here with this uh, wonderful stadium, we have Destruction Bellfire B7 and Magma Infrator I7. So, uh, here's the thing though. Magma Infrator has not been released with uh, Terrakatomi. Maybe with NBU as a random booster, who knows. But if you want to have this bay as an exclusive bay, 
get yourself this bad boy because it's the only way to get it. It's in its original color scheme and its original um, format, per se. Because all of the pieces are pretty much all the same as the one that the character in the anime use. I don't remember her name. I'm sorry. Maybe you could correct me in the uh, comment below. So, yeah. As you can see, that's the front. Beautiful, beautiful ba uh, stadium. It's orange. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So. <laughs> Here it is on the side that show you all the detail. We have inverter that burst. Probably won't happen that often. I don't know. On the side, you have the bay. So, of course, Bellfire is an attack type and um, in Magma Infitter is a defense, uh, not defense, but balance type, sorry. And of course, on the back, you have all your obligatory these shot, these, that, these, those, those. Hey, here we go. <laughs> so, let's go through by through with, first of all, Bellfire. So, instead of having high mode or low mode, they have point, uh, core mode or apex mode. So, in core mode, Bell, uh, Bellfire has full attack. In apex mode, it has um, balance type. Uh, not, not balance, but I think that's stamina. Is it stamina? Yeah. Anyways. <clears throat> so, of course, as you can see, these driver actually has two mode, two different form, actually, to give a little bit more of a... Um, personalized version of them, I guess. Anyways, so we have Belia, Be, not Belia, but Bellfire destroyed hull here and all the stats. So let's go to the stat. Attack 9, burst 5, not bad. We have defense 3, pretty much useful for uh, an attack type, defense not that high. His weight 6, his agility 8, and his stamina 6. So, pretty good stamina. If we move on, <laughs> literally move on <laughs> to Magma Infrator, we have balance with his uh, driver normal and attack with his tra uh, transform driver. Here we have all of the pieces. So as you can see right here, the driver can actually change. Let's go through its stats. Attack 9, burst 1. So pretty good. Defense 4, weight 6, agility 8, and stamina 9. Has a balance type that actually makes sense. So, yeah, let's open this bad boy. <clears throat> it's my first time opening it. So, with my trusty kata. So of course here we have our base and joint for the stadium. I'm gonna take a quick look at this right now. So it basically tells you how to place the bay, of course, with the evaluation. Here with this stadium, you have these pieces that come in. I'm not exactly sure what they're supposed to be, like they're dividers or just changers for the direction of the base. I don't know. So we're gonna put all this together. Let me get the pieces. All of our locks and joint right here. <coughs> Sorry about that. Got to make sure to do that the best way possible. Of course, I have to refer myself to the manual because I don't want to break anything. Okay, so you just push it in, and that's it. Okay. Take one at 
thing, shall we? So, like so. Hmm. You see, it's easy. It's easier with this stadium than it was with the uh, Pro Series stadium. There we go. Number two. I think it's also going to be easier to undo if anything happens. And number four. So now this is six. Let's put in the feet. The feet. Now, as you can see, we have these different levels right here inside of the stadium. We have the central spe uh, space right here. I'm probably going to do some test battles in this and probably going to do my tournament that I wanted to do inside of this one because it looks pretty much interesting to see how it's going to go. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Okay, let's move on to the base. Of course, we have our launcher that comes with it, two red launchers, why not? You have your two cords, and of course the launchers go both left and right, because it's basic. Let's see first the drivers and the forge disc. So, first of all, let's go with this one here. So this is the uh, driver for Bellfire. The name of the driver, it's the... Um, Mm, sorry about that. The TS18-Q. And with this cap on, it becomes the A01. Oh, and I just learned that those little things are dividers. Actually. Yeah. Oh, diverters. They can divert your base. Oh, okay. So you could either put both of them or you can remove them because they're just... Oh, can they be removed? I don't want to break anything. Oh. Okay, yeah, they can be removed. But you could place them back up as easy as you can take them down and you can even turn them around, I think. I'm not sure. Anyways, testing later on. So. Okay, let's move on to the driver right here. So to undo it, you just twist it and then pull it apart. So you have these little tabs here that goes into this, these little holes. Put it in, click, and there you go. And as for my entry to our driver, the TA21-Q, or with its cap on the B01, the B01. So again, and voila. And if you watch the anime, you actually see the um, wielder of Magma Enfredor using both mode of this bay. So there you go. For, of course, Bellfire, we have the Nexus uh, ring, but it has another name to it. Its name is the QD01. And as for Magma Enfredor, it's the QD01. Zero six. Yeah. <clears throat> I had the forge disc like this before, but I don't remember which one it was. But this one, it's ha it has a weight to it, but it's pretty light due to the fact that it's hollow in the in interior, almost like this one as well. I should probably get myself a scale just to. And now uh, have two R. Pieces. So here's Bellfire. Unfortunately, the armor piece is plastic. 
so that's one of the bad thing about this trying to undo it just so I don't break it there we go so we have the dynamite blades the Velia or Bellfire if you prefer and the armor that is fuel uh, purely plastic luckily for us we have a bit of metal but other than that, this is purely plastic. So, put it back on. So, hmm. Should I put the armor afterwards? I think so, yeah. Okay, give me a minute here. I'm learning here. So yeah, you uh, put the chip on, you click it, and then you put the armor afterwards. So completely different from Dynamite Battles when you actually put the armor first, then the chip after. But hey, what can I say? I put the right in, and there you go. Of course, since it's uh, as Pro Blade Bay in that Pro series, there's no teeth, so bursting with these are pretty much easier than with all the other bays. But that's just how things go, according to what I know. Now, Magma Infrator, must admit, I don't dislike it. It's really good looking. I'm gonna put the armor. Not the armor, but the driver in, and there we go. And of course, these bays look a little bit more taller than the original counterpart with Taka and Takatomi, due to the fact that, without forgetting, this is Astro. So, yeah. But other than that, design-wise, not that bad. And of course, can't wait to see what it's gonna be in the uh, battle arena. Probably gonna do a video later on, like I said, uh, after doing my battle that I promised you guys for so long. And of course, my Murphitar was gonna be inside of this thing as well. So it's gonna be a test pin, these two against each other, and these two against each other, of course. So, yeah, until then, as always, stay safe and see you guys later. Bye bye!